Thank you. Uh, we have a, another special guest speaker. Uh, he's visited the Holy Land and, and been involved in, in many of our ceremonies here. Uh, sure. He's all the way from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, he's just founder of the Church of Two Gods Medical School. Uh, he's he's <laughs> devoted his life. He's devoted his life to the King. And, and and we're very proud to have him here with us tonight. Uh, this is Dr. Henry Himmler and his associate uh, head of uh, religious task force. Uh, this is uh, the uh, honorable, Harvey Lee. honorable Harvey Lee. Please come up, please. Welcome Dr. Henry Himmler. It moves me to be here tonight. I am confused and mystified by the imagery presented here tonight, though this is a West Coast inception of the belief in the king, and we all know of the king, the new king. Praise the new king. Now I know that this church has met failure. It has come up against the wall of greed. It has been thrown out of its home. Unlike my church center, which lays on a sprawling, beautiful 4,000 acres, we have a prayer tower and a school. We'll school a kid all the way from kindergarten through medical school. It is a wonderful place, but it is a place that is based on hard work and dedication. Now, we are immensely blessed to have stood on the earth at the same time that the king was here. Imagine, imagine being here at the time of Jesus. This is an equal opportunity of such magnitude. Only this king who will be remembered for thousands of centuries. Amen. Way beyond the other king. Amen. We stood on this earth at the same time that he did. We heard and shared in his music. He, we learned his lessons he gave his all to us he gave everything he is an example for everybody i, I just get moved like it is bowel movement i want like to recount a story which changed my life if i may recount of this story recount brother Tell us all. Tell us everything. Thank you. It was some 13 years ago. 13 years ago. I was... Sir, I, I'm telling a moving, life-changing experience. Now, you may have your turn. But this is... This is a serious matter. So, please. This may change your life, son. Nonetheless, I was driving with my family, my wife, Jean, my son, Billy Bob, and Henry Jr., ages three and two, bless their souls. I'd heard the news that the king had died. We were heading to Memphis. Oh, there was a wagon train so glorious of worshipers heading towards the place of his residence. And I'd heard, oh God. We weren't, you know, we knew we knew the Lord would take the king, yes. We knew he would take the king, but so early and in such a tragic manner. And I was listening. We had our ears glued, all of us, the children, the wife and me, glued to the radio. 
radio, listening in about every detail about his passing, when suddenly the headlights of a drunkard's car pull out into us. That's the part that I hate the worst. My Lord. Jesus Christ! A curtain of black shrouded my eyes. I was thrown into a coma. Hanging by the merest thread of life. Oh, I thought I'd come to join the king. I thought I was going there. It seemed like an eternity of blackness. When suddenly there was a ray of light had got it its way to my eyes. And I, I thought I heard angels singing. And it was the most glorious most glorious place. And yes, there were angels. And there was a, a throne made of gold. And I, I thought, oh my God, I've come to join him. And I looked up, and my God, it was him. And he was with my beautiful wife, and Billy Bob, and G, and Henry Jr. And I thought, oh my God, I'm here with him. And he said, Henry, your children, your beloved family, they are in good hands. But I've got a job for you. I've got a job for you. And I said, oh, Elvis, I love you, but I love my family, too. I want to see my kids raised. And he said, that's all right. I will, I will see to their good fortune. This is paradise, and their place here is guaranteed. I thank the Lord for that. And he stood up in his beautiful, oh, it was beautiful, jeweled belt glistened in the beautiful light of heaven. And oh, when I had a taste of that paradise, I didn't want to leave. But he said, you must go and build a Pereira Tower, build a school. He had had the real estate picked out for me. It would be waiting for me when I got there. And oh, it was most glorious. And I came down and I built that center. And I, I've been doing everything in my power to do this, to help here the king. And when I got the call from a place called Holy Land that had a head most glorious, which we will be taken to the center, I came right out here on that bus. We brought that bus out here. And no, yes, there are enough seats on it for you and you and all of you. We will go there. We will serve the king. We in glory, and we will be, oh yes, we will be assured a place in paradise, and it will be wonderful, and we will join the king in this beautiful paradise. Amen, brother. And it will be glorious, all of us, and we will ride that bus up into heaven. Oh, we'll get the head off for sure. This is my director and my leader of my task force. And when he wants something, oh, the hand of Elvis comes down. So ruthlessly, we get what we want. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Dr. Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and by the way, I think Mr. Uh, Dr. Himmler is a little mistaken there. I think he's got a little mistake about the head. Uh, I mean, even though the Holy Land's going down, that head's going with us. We're going down, and we're taking the head with us. I don't think you understand. Well, please have a seat, or I'll, I'll have to call there security. There is a better place please, for that please. We'll, we'll take care of that. That's a guarantee. He just failed with the blood. We'll guarantee that. Yeah. I... <laughs>